infection, amoebiasis, etiology, intamoeba histolytica. The parasite has two forms, vegetative form in the colon causing no symptoms and resistant cystic form passing in the stool. It inhibits the colon and the liver. The parasite microscopic picture. Clinical picture. It is, it is an endemic worldwide disease affecting 10% of the world's population. The clinical picture depends upon the site of maximal affection. It has two forms, intestinal form and hepatic form. The site of the affection, the intestine and the liver. The intestinal form. Amoeba in, uh, invade the colonic mucosa causing ulceration and uh, colitis of varying degrees. Amoebic dysentery, severe amoebic colitis, localized intestinal disease. Amoebic dysentery, diarrhea, blood stained mucus, and tenismus, maybe low grade fever, good general condition. Maybe tenderness on palpation over the colon. Maybe liver enlargement. Severe amoebic colitis. Severe form of the disease. High fever and marked toxemia. Bloody and mucus severe diarrhea resulting in dehydration. Abdominal pain cramps and tenderness, marked mucocytosis, colonic perforation and peritonitis in untreated cases. Diagnosed on the presence of the trophozoite in the stools, sigmoidoscopy shows the small white cap amoebic ulcers. The ulcers in the sigmoidoscope and in the post-operative specimen. Large ulcerated areas may result from confluence of small ulcers. Shaggy undermined ulcers with congestion of the intervening mucosa should be differentiated from ulcerative colitis. Good response to amoebicides and intestinal antiseptics. Ulcerated intestinal mucosa amoebic ulcer sigmoidoscopic view of ulcer. Localized intestinal disease affects the cecum, sigmoid, and transverse colon in that order of frequency. May lead to stricture or granulomatous mass amoeboma. Right lower quadrant pain and tenderness over the cecum and transverse colon. Tools examination reveals the trophozoid. The frequency of the sites of affection, number one in the uh, cecum, number two in the sigmoid, and number three in the, in the transverse colon. A very colonic structure in the barium enema and a movie uh, colonic mass in a surgical specimen. Barium enema may uh, reveal the structure. History of dysentery is helpful for diagnosis. Most of the cases respond well to medical treatment. Strictures may need resection. Hepatic amoebiasis. Amoeba reaches the liver through the portal vein. Abscess formation in 10% of cases of amoebic dysentery. The Abscess is solitary and located in the right liver lobe in 90% of cases. The, the subject is dealt with in the specific site, the liver. Amoebic liver abscess is solitary and affects the mainly the right liver lobe. Treatment. Uh, parenteral metronidazole is very effective in severe cases. 
aspiration of the abscess may be needed. Uh, repeated abscess aspiration may be needed until cure. Open drainage is rarely uh, indicated in cases of secondary pyogenic infection. Good luck and best wishes.